Yeah, all right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Inform, a big creator of Red Bull Leipzig in the Bundesliga. So please smash a like if you do enjoy the video. It really does help me out a lot. So creator is five foot eight tall, right foot. He's got high medium work rates, a three star weak foot, and three star skills. Having a look at his in games for you, he stand out to his ninety nine stamina, ninety five balance, eighty six agility, eighty six interceptions, and eighty five short pass. We have also included, like we normally do, all the upgrades over his non inform, so you can see how much every single stat has been upgraded. So you can always pause it for a close look at any of them. So jumping into the gameplay now, now Creator he has had a nice upgrade up to an 81 rated card from a 75, continuing EA's run of very good inform uh, upgrades, and his card stats they do look very decent to be honest. Now the first thing I really would do with Keita, like I did, I'd convert him to a centre mid. If you really want to use him as a CDM, I've got to say it's got to be in a two-man CDM formation, like 4-2-3-1, as I really, really would not recommend him as a lone CDM. His defensive game is decent, especially his interceptions, but he does have high medium work rates, he's not got the height or the strength and he doesn't really have any aerial presence. So I promise you, you will be getting more out of Keita if you move him further up into midfield. Now his pace, it was good and his dribbling was very very good. It does have 86 agility and 95 balance so it can do a brilliant job dribbling through midfield. Really was not expecting him to be actually that good on the ball. And of course he does have a massive 99 stamina. So he can be running for days. He can be up and down that pitch all around the middle and not get tired at the end of the match. And that dribbling, it does lead to chances, which he did actually take quite well to be honest. His shooting was definitely good enough to get him on the score sheet regularly. So Keita does have goals in him, which obviously it does add to the enjoyment of the player, which he already was a fun player to use anyway in my eyes. He's a good passer of the ball, did create well for his teammates as well, so good in that centre midfield role. Now, apart from the odd negative, he is actually a really well-rounded midfielder. Obviously, lack of height and strength will hurt him slightly, but overall his, his performances were brilliant for me. So let's have a look at Inform Creator's performance stats. So in 10 games, he did manage to bag five goals and get four assists from a centre mid, which is a very good return for a centre mid. All the stats are on the left hand side. The goal information is on the right. That position map does show you where his goals were scored from and his assists were created from as well. So overall, I'm going to be giving Inform Creator a very impressive 9.2 out of 10. I really did enjoy using him in the midfield. As we said, he can manage in a 2 CDM formation, but I wouldn't really recommend him as a lone CDM. Definitely get him a CM, and he could even cope as a cam. Now, I paid 22k for Inform Creator. I was happy with that price, but he has dropped under 20k now, so he is definitely worth a purchase under 20k. If you can pick him up for around 50 and definitely jump on him, it really is worth that coinage. Defo worth a purchase at a price, and he is highly, highly recommended, especially for a Bundesliga team. So thanks a lot for watching lads, hopefully you did enjoy the review, please smash a like if you did enjoy, it really does help me out a lot, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel, loads more videos to come, so stay tuned for them, thanks a lot for watching lads, I really do appreciate it, cheers lads, see you later.